mabuhay. Ito nga pala si Teacher Jan. At ito ang I Teach. Kung bagayin kayo sa channel na to, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell button para updated kayo. Sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Tara, simulan na natin ang lesson ngayong araw na to. TLA 8, Technical Drafting, Quarter 1, Module 2. Maintain hand tools, drawing instruments, equipment, and paraphernalia. Tara, alamin natin ang lesson na ito. Let's answer first these questions. Number 1. Why does a cutting tool malfunction? A. It is sharp. B. It is regularly checked. C. It is kept well. Or D, it is not sharp. Number two, how does a gripping tool function? A, it can hold small objects. B, it can strike small objects. C, it can lubricate small objects. Or D, it can drive small objects. Number three, why do we use driving tools? A, to magnetize small objects. B, to loosen screws. C, to tighten screws. Or D, all of the above. Number four, why does malfunction of tools pose great threat? A, it can cause severe injury to the user. B. It helps work easier. C. It is just okay. And D. It is still safe. And number five, how can we avoid malfunction of tools for effective performance? A. By being irresponsible. B. By preventive maintenance. C. By not checking the tools regularly and D, by leaving the tools unattended. Hey there, subscribe to my channel, and also press this bell icon. Your teacher will check your answers after the lesson. Tara, gawin na natin ang activity 1. Directions. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the name of technical drafting tool. Write your answer in your activity sheet. Your answers will be checked by your teacher at the end of the lesson. Tara! Let's answer Activity 2. Directions. Read the situation inside the box and answer the question using your activity sheet. Mang Miguel is a simple and popular draftsman in their hometown. He plans to make his own house design. What technical drafting safety procedures will he follow? Let's proceed now to the lesson proper. Drafting. What is drafting? Drafting is the act and discipline of composing drawings that visually communicate how something functions or is constructed. Similar with drawing, sketch, it has several things to be used. 
drafting tools, materials, and equipment are the best friends of the architect. In this lesson, we will discuss safety procedures in maintaining technical drafting tools. Without the drafting tools, materials, and equipment, it will take you a long time or it is very impossible to finish a work. The following are the basic safety procedures in maintaining tools and materials used in drafting. Safety Procedures in Maintaining Hand Tools It is essential to take proper care of the drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Below are some tips to properly use and take care of them. Number 1. Before starting any drawing, be sure to keep the hands clean and free from dirt. 2. Maintain the cleanliness of the working area, especially the drawing table and three avoid dropping your tools and equipment four wipe off the surface and edges of triangles and t-squares before and after using them five sharpen and store your pencils properly after use and six find or create an organizer where you can hang your measuring tools 7. Have a separate container for making tools. 8. Keep your drawing sheets in a plastic tube to protect them from dust and dirt. And 9. Never lend or borrow dropping tools and materials if possible. 10. Pencils should be sharpened whenever they show sign of dullness. 11. Never use the edge of T-square and triangles to cut paper along its working edges. A slight nick at the edge will ruin the T-square. 12. After using the tools, instruments, and equipment, clean them first before keeping in a safe place. Storage and Care Tools can be kept in anything that keeps them organized and safe during transport. Drawings are best stored in flat files, lateral files, round tubes, or portfolios. Keep your tools clean. Dirt will rub off them onto the drawing media. Procedures in cleaning, tightening, and simple repair of hand tools, drawing instruments, equipment, and paraphernalia. In doing simple repair of tools, make sure that you are knowledgeable in doing so. Repairing tools without sufficient skills may result to further damage or inflicts injuries to the fixer. Small repairs like tightening, sharpening, and changing of handles may not require special skills to do so. If a tool or equipment is beyond repair, it must be disposed properly. Before cleaning any tool, be sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment, commonly referred to as PPE, is an equipment worn to minimize exposure to hazards that cause serious workplace injuries and illnesses. Gloves, masks, and goggles are usually worn when cleaning tools since most cleaning agents and solutions are harmful to the human body. Below are examples of PPE. Mask, gloves, goggles, and aprons. Cleaning tools are materials used to clean efficiently. It is vital to clean especially when your form of employment involves cleaning. Examples, broom, cleaning cloth, liquid detergent, and dust pan. Gripping tools used to hold objects firmly, possibly developed from tongs. 
A plier's rivet must be well tightened to be able to grip properly. The commonly used gripping tools are tongue and groove pliers, lineman plier, and long nose plier. Striking tools is used in conjunction with another tool to effect entry. It is a very basic hand tool connecting of a weighted head attached to hand. Some examples of the striking tools are as follow. Chisel, punch, and mallet. Lubricants is a substance usually introduced to reduce friction between surface. Also be applied after tightening to reduce the friction. Driving tool is used to loosen and tighten screws. Its handles must also be tightened to reduce hand strain when turning. A loosely connected handle will make it almost impossible to use it. Examples Flathead screwdrivers and Phillip head screwdriver. Procedures in cleaning, tightening, and simple repair for hand tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. Cleaning procedures 1. Before cleaning any tool, be sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment or PPE. Examples Gloves, mask, and goggles are usually worn when cleaning tools since most cleaning agents and solutions are harmful to the human body. 2. Only use cleaning agents as prescribed by the tool or equipment's manufacturer. 3. Cleaning the tools after use is highly recommended. 4. After using a tool, clean it thoroughly with a damp cloth. Wipe it dry with another piece of cloth before keeping it. 5. When not in use, the T-square is preferably hung by inserting the hole to a nail attached to a wall at the end of its blade. Tightening Procedure Lubricants must be applied after tightening to avoid rusting. 2. Only use the prescribed tool when tightening and loosing. And 3. After cleaning, use an all-purpose oil to lubricate tools with adjustable parts. Simple repair procedures. 1. Work area must always be kept neat and tidy. 2. Put oil on the movable parts of the measuring tools such as zigzag ruler, calipers, dividers, and compasses to avoid stock up. 3. Avoid unnecessary sliding of T-square or triangles to protect the drawing. Pick up the triangle by its tip and tilt the T-square blade upward slightly before moving. 4. If your tools already show signs of rust, spray the tools with oil and then scrub them with steel wool or a stiff wire brush. 5. Afterwards, wash them with warm, soapy water and scrub them again with a cloth or rug until all signs of rust are gone. 6. All tools and equipment must be placed in a clean and dry place. Common Malfunction in Hand Tools, Equipment, and Paraphernalia Malfunctions and other unplanned and unusual events may not be totally eliminated, but they can surely be minimized. Listed below are some of malfunctions and unplanned events when using the different tools in completing job requirements. When the screwdriver is not properly aligned with the drive of the screw's head. This happens when using a driving tool. Screws may slip the tip of the screwdriver. This can be minimized by making sure that the tip of the screwdriver is well secured in the drive of the screw's head. Using a screwdriver with a magnetized 
tip can also help minimize this type of mall function. The jaws of the pliers are blunt, thus making it hard to hold on things. This usually happens when small objects tend to fall down when being held by a gripping tool like pliers. This can be prevented by making sure that gripping tools have well-maintained jaws that can grasp objects properly. The heads of striking tools separating away from the handle. The use of striking tools also imposes a great threat if there will be a malfunction. Common hazard can cause severe injuries to anyone. To avoid this type of accident, the handle of a striking tool must be tightly attached to its head. A cutting tool is not sharp enough. Mishaps in using cutting tools are also dangerous. They may arise from slippage of the material to be cut. These unplanned events will cause laceration and wounds to the user. To avoid this, Cutting tools must always be kept sharp. The common faults in using hand tools. 1. Do not increase the handle length of pliers to gain more leverage. Use a larger pair of pliers or bolt cutters if necessary. Do not substitute pliers for a wrench when turning bolts and knots. Pliers cannot grip these items properly and might cause a slip and create an accident. Never use pliers as a hammer on the handle. Such abuse is likely to result in cracks or breaks. Cut hardened wires only with pliers designed for that purpose. And always cut the wire in right angle. Never rock from side to side or bend wire back and forth against the cutting edges. Never use screwdrivers as a pry bar, chisel, and punch steerer or scrapper. Never use screwdrivers with broken or worn out handles. A screwdriver of these kinds should have tags to indicate that it is defective. Never use pliers on a screwdriver for extra leverage. Only use wrench or screwdrivers specifically designed for that purpose. Do not use dull blades because they require more force, thus are more likely to slip. Replace the blade when it starts to tear instead of cut. Never leave a knife unattended with the blade exposed. Don't bend or apply side loads to blades by using them to open cans or loosen tight cover of containers. Blades are brittle and can snap easily. Dito nagtatapos ang lesson natin sa araw na ito. Pero huwag mo nang umalis sapagkat meron pang ipagagawa si Teacher sa inyo. Huwag kalimot mag-subscribe at hit ang bell button para maging updated sa'yo. Leave a comment also. Maraming salamat rin sa mga may-ari at sumulat ng module na ito. Maraming salamat sa development team of the module. And also, thank you to the Department of Education, Soxargen Region. Hanggang sa muli. See you tomorrow.